Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Resident Evil 3. We are currently playing as Carlos, which is a nice change. Uh, hopefully that means we're not going to get stalked by the Nemesis, which is again a pretty nice change. He's also considerably more physical, and he punches the shit out of things. Uh, yeah, he's uh, pretty handy with the L dodge mechanic because instead of just dodging, he just smacks someone, which is pretty cool. Pretty cool. Um, we got our hands on a battery in the last part, and actually, it was the third floor, wasn't it? There was a locked locker up here that we didn't know the password for, but we have found it in the safe room. I think it was DCM. D C M Yes Oh, it's just more assault I'm swimming in this ammo <laughs> I should really be using it more but I just keep sticking to the handgun because I I don't know, it's just my, kind of my go-to um, So we're trying to get around to the stars office which should be around here Now, one thing Oh, green herb Oh, my dog's having a good time again. It's Kygo time. Carlos, I've hit a dead end with the terminal here. Gotta head your way. Copy that. Okay. Um, I don't know if I can open these lockers, but last time around, this one had a dead person in it, and it frightened the crap out of me. Is this one CAP? Oh, it is! Nice, nice, nice! Another flash grenade. Oh, okay. Oh, that could be what the battery's for. Electronic gadget. C4. Okay. Uh, what do you want me to do with that? <laughs> Let's have a look at this. Yeah, missing a battery. Okay, that's fine. We know we can combine these. Detonator. So I'm assuming we use that here. Tell me that's three minutes and not three seconds. Oh no, that's three seconds. Okay. And now we know why that steam became a problem. Thank God we have an assault rifle. I'm also, yeah, as I say, I'm not convinced they're dead. Whoa! Reload. How did I miss all of those? Okay, there's definitely going to be some of these still alive. Down you go, please. One at a time, take a number. <laughs> nice. Oh, there's more. How many of you is there going to be? you. I also get the feeling you're still alive. Yep. Down you go. Okay, I think you're dead now. First aid spray. More assault rifle ammo. Okay then. That was an interesting detour. Again. I thought I killed you. I do have a grenade. Question is, do I want to use it? 
Um, I think I do. There we go, that'll do the job. Well, thank God for grenades. More assault rifle ammo. Okay. There is still stuff in here. Somewhere. It's probably at the far end of the hall. This is our star's office that we'll come back to in a moment. Okay, door here is barricaded. We can't get into the linen room. Oh, there it is. More assault rifle ammo. Nice. Okay, we can't get in there because that was a keyed door. So let's go in the star's office. Yeah, that's everything in here. All right. Dr. Bard. Oh, thank God. Do you know how long I've been trying to reach somebody? Don't worry, we're gonna get you out of there. Just tell me where you are. I'm trapped in a goddamn hospital, surrounded by every kind of abomination. Look, just send in stars. They're gonna know what to do. No, negative. RPD's overrun, too. Then figure it out! Umbrella's gone crazy. They're killing all the researchers. I am the only one who knows how to make the vaccine to stop the zombies. So you can either sit there with your dick in your hand or send, send somebody who's capable of getting me the hell out of here. Wow, well, don't need to I be like a dick. Already. Yeah, you would. You heard what he said. We can't turn him over to the company. Well, that's not our call to make. That's Mihail's call. I'm gonna check the computer, see if I can trace the doc's uh, location. Probably shouldn't let him know Mihail's no longer with us. This'll take some time. Look around, see if you can find anything useful. Flash grenade, always useful. Nice, I'll crack that open in a sec. <laughs> no uh, love letter from Chris here either. Uh, let's open you up. What do you know? More assault rifle ammo. <laughs> Okay, we can't use that. Uh, that looks like, yeah, first aid spray. Oh, this is a save room. Or is it just the box? Might be just the box. Okay, let's drop the first aid sprays. Let's drop the flash grenades. We will combine that. I don't need that anymore, apparently. Drop the green herb. And we will keep the rest. Let's reload that real quick. Oh. Okay. Oh, there's a red herb here. Nice. Let's put that to use straight away. Green herb. Combine and store. Right, let's have a look at what's in the office. Big L radio, is that what that is? And a note. And a picture. Report on the mansion. Oh, RE1. Report on the mansion incident. This bizarre incident occurred in a mansion owned by the Umbrella Corporation located in the Arkley Mountains. On July 23rd, Star's Bravo team was dispatched to the Arkley Mountains to investigate a series of mysterious and grisly murders and went unexpectedly radio silent. On July 24th, Alpha team was dispatched as well and became entangled in the events at the nearby mansion. So just for a bit of... Um, a bit of clarity in case anybody hasn't played the first Resident Evil. Um, basically what happens is you play as either Chris or you play as Jill. Both of whom are part of Alpha Team. Um, and you are trying to find Bravo Team. Um, and they send you to this mansion. The incident culminated in the destruction of the mansion. Casualties were numerous. The only survivors were five members of STARS. The cause of the incident was the illegal bioweapon experiments being carried out in the, a secret umbrella lab beneath the mansion. The T-virus being used in these experiments escaped the facility and is presumed to be the root cause of all that occurred. However, all evidence was destroyed along with the mansion, so further investigation has proved to be extremely difficult. Pretty much a good sum up of RE1. 
um, they were using the mansion as a, you know, a secret lab. I think they actually had a secret lab underneath it. Is that Jill it. in the front row? Yeah, it sure is. Sure is. Okay, is there something I'm missing? No? So what was the point of being here? Yeah, what's up? Derailed. Was anyone hurt? Jill? Ah, oh, shit. Wait, what? Jill! Jill, what happened? Jill, come in! Nemesis happened, buddy. T, I gotta go. Do what you gotta. I'll take care of Bart. 4.43 a.m. Do we switch back to Jill now? Yeah, we do. Several minutes earlier. Subway tunnels. We hurting? Find a way above ground. Is there anything down this way? Am nope. The only one who made it? Probably. Apart from probably Nikolai, yeah. bad guys always survive shit like that. Okay, we got a safe room. Carlos? Come in. Carlos? Oh, damn it. I guess I'm out of sure range. Are. Mine rounds. Okay. They're a new addition, I think. Oh, hold on. Flies to its target using its own propulsion system. Detonates after a short period of time or if approached. Interesting. First aid spray. We'll read that in a second. I suppose it would have been a bit too much to ask if we could get the stuff we picked up as Carlos back. But, however. Um, do we have a... We don't have a combo herb. Okay, so we'll hold on to the green for now. Let's... Let's take the shotgun for now. Have a read of this. UBCS new weaponry notice. Good news, limp dicks. I've got some new weaponry for you that's guaranteed to put the brass back in your sacks. It's called mine rounds. Oh, okay, we're going to get an explanation here. These babies were developed by Umbrella's military R&D. They will light your fires even hotter than the lover you left back home. They're tough to find and tricky to handle, but trust me, they're worth it. Alright, let's take a look at the specs. Mine rounds are designed for standard issue grenade launchers. Don't get cute and try to load them in anything else. Fire them at walls or the ground, and they'll stay right where you put them. The sensor in the mine will detect approaching enemies and detonate when they get within range. So basically, just toss them in an enemy's path, and you've got yourself a landmine. There's no such thing as unfair. When you're taking on these giant freaks. So get out there and fight dirty. Okay, so that's pretty handy. I can definitely see that coming in super handy for, like, well, liquors, to be honest. Oops. Um, which I might make use of. Let's hit a quick save. And let's see where this takes us. Where are we? Subway tunnels. Okay. Suppose if we weren't spending our entire day underground, it would be a bit of a waste, wouldn't it? Oh, that's the way I've just come. I meant to go this way. Okay, no, nothing there. Uh, I should have known. Pop, pop. Bam. Oh, okay. This might be a good opportunity to try this. Well, that certainly works. You're 
dead. You're dead. Well, uh, whoops. Okay. I think we're good. Uh, is there anything in these wee little... Oh, hello. Ping. Yeah. Uh, okay. We are clear for there. Oh, come on. Fine. Oof. Sent him flying. They're definitely still alive. Are you dead now? Okay. That's okay then. We got anything around here? Nope. Thought there might have been, but nope. We got a ladder out of here though. Which probably means we're gonna get jumped by Nemesis. Because Nemesis loves standing at the top of ladders. Okay. Still Come alive. on, give me a break. Oh no 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 go up. Thank you. Escape for the creature. Okay, let's get a reload on everything actually didn't have any um, grenades which was kind of unfortunate I would have liked to have had a grenade at this point okay there is some handgun bullets here definitely get reloaded the statue there seems important clock tower brochure St. Michael's Clock Tower. St. Michael's Clock Tower is a Baroque-style building which stands at the heart of Raccoon City. It has become a beloved icon and residents consider it to be emblematic of the city as a whole. St. Michael's Church erected this tower in 1908 with the assistance of several philanthropists. It was dedicated to the children born in the developing city and the first floor was used as an elementary school for many years. The city saw further growth during its electrification over the course of the early 20th century and the student body of St. Michael's Elementary swelled to over 600 students. Unfortunately, St. Michael's Elementary was shuttered in 1978 as the building began to show signs of age and wear. The clock was deactivated and strict limitations were placed on entry to the surrounding premises. Years passed with this once beloved monument and public plaza on lockdown. But in the 1990s, the Umbrella Corporation worked in lead with Mayor Michael Warren to renovate the and, and reopen the area, this time with proper preservation efforts in place. The clock tower was officially reopened in 1993, and today the sound of its heavy tolling bells can once again be heard throughout Raccoon City. Okay, so the clock tower is open. Where is it? Okay, I'm kind of getting the impression I need to go up there. But I would like to have a look around here first. Green herb. Some crates over there. Can we open anything here? Oh, hello. What have you got? Red herb. Excelente. Kinda really needed that. Looks like we've cleared this area out now. Okay, so let's have a look at what's up. A bridge of some description, obviously. Oh, come on! Okay. Okay then. <laughs> I mean, he's probably pretty heavy. Carlos, respond. Yeah, what's up? We didn't make it. The train derailed. Derailed? Was anyone hurt? No, everybody's dead. Mihail, everybody. Oh, shit. Nikolai left us to die. Wait, what? Whoa! 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 Whoa!
Why do you look like that? Jump! I don't remember him looking like that at any point. Well, you're gonna make me fight you here. Oh no, we're just gonna dodge. Okay, cool. Cool, cool. Are we about to fight you again? It actually looks kind of liquor-esque in that form. Oh, come on. Ah. Oof. Can we move, please? Oh, come on. I'm dead, aren't I? No? How am I not dead? I thought that was for sure death. Okay, we need to get that for one and I need to get this switched over time to move oh wow we need to keep moving we need to keep moving whoa Round. Okay. Onto the floor. Move. Drop the mine round. Move. 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 A bit better. Um. Whoa. Okay. He's getting smarter. Where's he gone? There he is. Okay, need to hit this. Come on. Ah, come on. Let me out, let me out, let me out, let me out, let me out! Move! Okay, uh... I need to hit that one. Green herb, okay, let's move. Ah, come on! Stop with the bulldozing! Damn it. Oh, there's some... Okay, we need to heal. Uh, mine. Use that. Yep. Mine rounds. Oh, stop with that! Okay, okay. It's left us on caution. It's not ideal. Oh, having to reload is also really not ideal. If I can just keep doing that, that would be great. Come on. And last one. Come on, pal. Come get me. Come on. There it is. Okay, that's a bit of a stun. Still need to be moving. This guy just won't go down. Whoa, what the hell is he doing? I'm assuming the fact that he's done that means we're making progress. Okay, reload. Whoa! Damn it. How bad. Okay, danger, 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 danger. Fine. Yeah, I don't like doing that, but I kind of have to... Come on. Fucker is fast. 
Yes, yes, Claire, he is. But we can be faster. Time to move. Yeah, definitely time to move. Ooh. Oh boy, that doesn't sound good. I have like no ammo left. I had no idea where he'd gotten to. No! Damn it! I dodged the wrong way. He... I... Okay. Come on. I... Gotta be honest with you here, not really sure what it is I'm supposed to be doing here. Oh, you're kidding me. You're actually kidding me. Come on. Let me out. Okay, I need to... I need a second to just collect shit. great if I could grab this as well, but I'm not feeling great about the fact that he's probably right behind me. Entry's full, combined, that's alright. Oh no, we're okay. We're okay for now. What have we got? Flame rounds. Whoa! Actually, we've got mine rounds. Which I might actually save. Just because I feel like they could be really useful when he's running around on the walls. Yeah, that's... They're definitely throwing mine rounds at me. Oh, that was a nice dodge, isn't it? Okay, okay. Need to keep some space between... That didn't even hit him. Oh, there my mine rounds. Okay, don't want to be using that. Please? Where'd he go? There he is. Oh, wow. Stop with the goddamn yelling. Where's he going? Where's he going? Where's he going? Aha! Okay. This is what I was looking for. Whack that up there, and then... Bam. I'm gonna kill you. Okay, that's what we were looking for. Come on. That's definitely time to move. <laughs> Doing it again? He is doing it again. Okay, well then we'll do it again. Come on. Whoa! I hope that didn't do damage. Keep it moving. Oh man, 
this. This is not easy. Okay, he's going up again. Where was it? There. Pop that up there. Uh, I have one shot left on the shotgun. Oh, is enough? Oh, last shotgun shell. Right, let's do this. Shotgun. Yeah, you go, Jill. up what might be remaining around here. Shotgun shells. They would have been really handy to have picked. Well, actually, we had just about enough, so it was fine. Anything else? Was that... Was that just the bottles? I think it was. I thought it might be another one of those Charlie dolls, but I think it was just the bottles underfoot. Okay, that looks like everything we can pick up. Yeah. Okay, we came from that way. Stairs to the right. There's a way to go that way. That looks like the way we're probably supposed to go. But we can't seem to go these other ways. So... Let's go into the clock tower. Do you have anything I can... Oh, okay. He's definitely getting back up. <laughs> yep, there it is. Oh, yeah. He just regrows an arm. Are you kidding me? God damn, Mikhail. You've done me a big favor. Please. Not Mik Nikolai. Not Mikhail. Nikolai. Half a day later. Christ. Jill. Hey, answer me. God damn it. Tyrell, do you copy? What's going on? Jill's been infected. I, I'm taking her to the hospital. Maybe Dr. Bard can save her. All right, I'll meet you there. Spencer Memorial Hospital. Find it, Jill. I'm gonna get you the vaccine. All right, we're okay. back playing as Carlos. I promise. What? Oh, I can just. Can I just take her stuff? Is that what this is? Oh no, I have to make the vaccine and come back and use it on her. <laughs> or we could just uh, <laughs> use the gun. Forever misery. But we wouldn't do that to our darling Jill. Um, so an interesting point, um, if I if I remember right, um, Jill doesn't does Jill does get infected in the original uh, Resident Evil Three, and. At the very start of the game where we had that nightmare, 
I thought it was really cool because it was obviously foreshadowing the fact that Jill was going to get infected. But I didn't want to say anything about it at that point in time. Because obviously for some of you who haven't played the original, this is quite a surprising change of events, I guess. Um, but yeah, like it was really nicely done by the, the dev team to have that in as kind of some foreshadowing. But we now have to play as Carlos and get a vaccine. Come How do we do that, Mirror Hand? Gotta be the lab in the back. Stay frosty, I'm on my way. Copy. I'll go on ahead. Okay. So there's something to pick up in here, somewhere. Can we go outside? No. Uh, is there something behind the desk? Yes. More assault rifle ammo. How much have we got? Too much. 277 bullets, as well as the 32 in the magazine. That's just... It's just a stupid amount of bullets. And the worst thing is, I'll probably still go through all of them. Okay. Uh, where are we going? Ah. Okay, there's only really one way we can go. That's chained, and we obviously don't have a bolt cutters. Blued. Lovely. Okay. We got zombies there. We got a padlock here. Uh, how much of this ammo do we have? Yeah, we got a little bit. Oh, there's a crit. Drop you first. Yeah. Then we can work on you. There we go. I don't got time for this. Correct. We don't. Ah, oh, come on. I always leave it one slice too late. Oh yeah, he, he, we got a crit. Oh, hello. I don't think you're dead. You're certainly not dead. Yeah, I knew you'd get up. But if you would just drop back down, that would be great. You are dead. Okay, cool. Now we can grab this red herb. Uh, okay. Is there anything else here? Locked door. Let's see what we got in here. Quick reload. Something over there. I don't know what it is. Oh, it's a case. I also don't like the sound of whatever that is. Okay. Okay, that's a... Again, locked. I kind of feel like we're going to explore this area as Jill later. And that's why we've got these locked things. research in the back. Oh, hello. Finding quite a few of those. Welcome to the office of Dr. Nathaniel Hart. Please state your business clearly into the intercom. Tape player. Can we... Can we listen to that? We'd have to put a tape in for it to work. Okay. So we're probably going to find tapes then. Somewhere. File there. 
Nurse Journal, September 25th. Every day, they bring in more of these mystery illness patients. The sedatives don't stop their delirium, so we have to put them in straitjackets and move them to the isolation wing. Problem is, the isolation wing is already bursting at the seams. The director has ordered us to admit anyone with the symptoms free of charge, but what does he expect us to do? Wish them better? We don't have a cure. And that's not all that's bothering me. When these patients die, they're not collected by the usual mortuary teams. We've been told it's special handling to prevent the illness from spreading, but I'm not sure I'd buy it. Miranda saw some guys wheeling a body through the forbidden door during the night. Why? Where? What is going on? Sounds like Umbrella are recollecting their... Dead? Okay, so that's locked. Uh, there's a door down here that I... Oh, there's also a green herb. Be rude not to combine those, wouldn't it? Is this door open? Yep. Oh, lovely. Okay. This... I don't have anything explosive. He's likely gonna bust through. Yeah, I mean, they were never gonna be dead, were they? Okay. He's definitely gonna bust through. Whoa! Where did you come from? Ooh. Wow. Handgun ammo. I'm assuming Brad's card is not going to work on that. We got this way. A teddy bear. Um, what's through here? It's locked. Okay. And what's this? Oh, well, that's the case with the lock on it, isn't it? Before I go too much further, I would like to go back and... Oh, whoa. I thought you would be dead, to be perfectly honest. Let's go back and just hit this intercom and see what happens, because I don't want to get too ahead of myself. Oh. Oh! Dr. Bard, are you in there? I'm here to rescue you. Open the door. No voice match found. Voice match? Okay. What kind of sci fi I've bullshit gotta find is this? something for the tape that matches whatever voice would make sense for that to open for. There's probably gonna be like another doctor or a nurse or something. say I'm liking this. This is way more blood than I am particularly comfortable with. Oh, we're outside. Okay. 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 You're not dead. Hello. What else we got? Okay. This is going to take me back into that corridor. Just on the other side of all that. Uh, which way makes more sense to go? Let's have a quick look this way.
Lots of doors. What's in the big double doors? Okay, we got more blood this way. Staff room. Main. Oh, map. Map, 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 map. Okay, records room to my left. Staff room to my right. Linen room around there. Nurse's station. Treatment room. Oh, safe room. I know that music anywhere. Hang on bullets. Oh, file. Nurse's journal, September 27th. Admitted over 20 mystery illness patients. Patients in the isolation wing, wing exhibiting severe limb necrosis, fever, muttering delirium, and signs of hyperphagia. Possible infection? Tried every antiseptic. Still no blood work back from the research wing. Ask again? Dr. Young was bitten while treating one of the patients. We've disinfected the wound, but his fever won't go down. Nothing works. Meanwhile, the outpatient wing is complete anarchy. The patients are delirious and growing more violent by the minute. We've called in our off-duty staff. It's all hands on deck now. We have got to contain this chaos. Okay. Uh, let's see. Let's no hold on to that. We'll drop that. Take this green herb. I don't do I have a red herb? No. no. I don't think I have a red herb in here either. So let's just put that in there for now. Uh -huh. Let's hit a quick save. And I think I'm gonna call the episode here. Cause there's been a lot happening. Yeah, we've switched characters twice and we've made some progress so let's uh let's call it here and we will find dr bard and find a way through that intercom voice recognition in the next part and hopefully we won't run into nemesis for a little while but until then take care and thanks for watching guys